And welcome to Granddad Reviews. Outside today, just uh, having a bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment. So I didn't want to be stuck in my hot studio. So just sitting outside on the porch. I want to do something different today. I had a question on one of my shorts. Um, if I'd show how to use this the Petri 7S so I thought what I'd do is we'll have a look at the Petri 7S and the Sheikah Minister 3 just have a look how they work just a quick overview I've done some shorts on how to load the film so I'll stick those up here somewhere but uh, we'll have a, a quick look at them now there's a lot of similarities between these two cameras they both have a 45 2.8 lens they both have psyllium cells for metering. They've both got a meter, but there is some slight differences. With the Petri 7S, you can see the light meter in the viewfinder, which makes it handy for doing metering. But where the Yashica, that isn't in the viewfinder, but the frame lines in the viewfinder do parallax adjust when you focus, so if you're getting in close and obviously the viewfinder isn't in line with the lens, the actual frame lines move so you can get it lined up properly. But other than that, they're very similar. Now these would make perfect street photography film cameras, apart from one thing that I think they're both lacking, and that is they haven't got hyperfocal or zone focusing scales that you can actually adjust on the lens here. So let's uh, take a look at the cameras first and I'll explain that as well. So let me explain what I mean by not having the hyperfocal distances. So if we look on this lens here as you can see we've got the aperture so if I pick an aperture of f8 so we've got f8 against that line there you see you've got this other scale here which is the apertures so if I was out in the street and I knew I didn't want to focus any further than say 30 feet away so if I move 30 feet to that f8 line there it means everything from 30 feet to just over four feet will be an acceptable sharpness. Or you could do it to infinity. So you got from infinity to five feet. Or if you want to do it in meters, so 10 meters to 1.3 meters. Or if it was on infinity, you'd be to 1.5 meters. So you can set that and then just point and shoot. Unfortunately, these lenses don't come with that so we can't actually do that so let's have a look how this camera works then as I say I've shown how to load the film on the shorts so first off this has got a light meter that's the uh, meter there and it's got a circle with a red line and you're trying to get that red line into the middle of that circle. Okay. If you can see that. So that red line needs to be in that circle just there. And how we're doing that is just here is your ISO. So using this little lever here, you set your ISO, so it's on 200 at the moment. Then this black ring is doing your aperture. And then this silver ring is doing your shutter speed. So you will probably say, right, I want F8. And then point at the subject you're going to be photographing or the area. Then adjust your shutter speed until you get that red line in the middle there. 
So you've set your shutter speed and your aperture and you've got the little red line in the middle of the circle. You then look through the viewfinder and I'll show you what that looks like here. And as you move the focusing ring, you'll align your split image so it's in focus. Then you would wind on using this wind on lever, do your focus, take your shot. Now when you get to the end of the film, you can't wind on anymore, don't force winding on anymore. You press this button in at the bottom, flip this lever up and wind your film back until you feel it come off the roll, spool. And then just remove it from the camera. Now other features on here, we have just here, if you can just see, is a flash sync port. On this side we've got a lever which you can switch from electronic flash or flash bulbs. And then right on the bottom you've got a self timer lever which you slide across and then when you press the shutter it will count down about 10 seconds. But on these older cameras I'd recommend not using that because they do stick. So that's the Petri 7S. And if we move over to the Yashica Minister, again we haven't got that hyperfocal distance in on here so we can't do that. We can use an app or have an estimate if we want to. Again it's got a light meter. This top ring here, you'll set your ISO in this little window here. And then you've got this scale here with a red needle which is pointing around the 15 mark or something like that at the moment. I think we can just see. Just not see it. Now on the lens, on the front of the lens we've got these numbers here and this is the EV numbers which relate to these numbers here. In the little window you've got your aperture and then on this silver ring here we've got the shutter speed. So we point the camera at the scene and at the moment it's pointing at number 14. So then we'd move this to 14 and that'll put an aperture in there which is 5.6 or in a five hundredth. So if we wanted to turn a different aperture we can turn the shutter speed dial to say two fiftieth and then that will give us an eighth or we can move it again to one two five giving us eleventh and such like. If you wanted a different combination so you didn't want or you want it overexposed or underexposed, then just pick a different number. So if you were going to pick, if you wanted overexposed, you could go down to 12, and that'll drop your aperture down by one stop. Or if you wanted to underexpose because of the scene, then you can move it up to a higher number. So that's how you set that on there. Wind it on. It's on lever on the top. Again we'll look through the viewfinder and I'll show you that on the screen now. Focus your split so it's in focus. Remember these framing lines will move if you're closer so you can it'll parallax do your parallax for you and then take the shot. Once you're finished with this one, when you can't wind on anymore, again don't force it. When you're at the end of the roll, you press this button in here, flick over the thing and wind it back until you feel the film come off the roll. Other features on this one, you've got PC Sync is here. We've got a self timer again on the bottom here again I recommend you don't use it and this PC sync is just for electronic flash 
Now one common issue with these two cameras is the framing lines in the viewfinders will sometimes move because they're only like a a picture on a on a mirror and sometimes they come loose and fall but you can take the tops off and move it into position uh, this one's fell down a little bit that one's all right i would say out of the two the yashica has a brighter viewfinder than the petri so that was my quick look at the petri 7s and the yashica minister 3 Two excellent rangefinder cameras, quite cheap to get off eBay, mostly pretty reliable. If you can find one that's been tested with film, even better. Nice for street photography, again, just that hyperfocal zone focusing, not, uh, not on it, but that's not a big issue. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.